Kitchen, where I bring you into my kitchen and show you that you don't need to be a professional chef to cook or think like one. And today we're doing exactly that. I am not a professional chef. And so many of you ask me how I come up with my ideas and my recipes. And my number one best advice is going to new restaurants, trying out new things, exposing your palate to different tastes, textures, flavors, all of that. Along with, I love going online and checking out different recipe websites. And one of my favorite is RecipeCenter.com. They have thousands of recipes on there. And one I found not too long ago is um, a linguine alla carbonara, which is a very traditional Italian recipe. It's really an egg yolk based recipe with some cheese like a pecorino romano, parmesan cheese, um, usually like a pork, bacon, and some pepper along with either spaghetti, linguine, whatever. It's a real simple dish, very delicious. Um, but what enticed me to this recipe in specific that I found was the use of evaporated milk and fat free. So it's real good on the waistline and I tried it and it was fantastic. I did do a little tweak so I added some chicken and uh, I did use a few different vegetables. Um, I am a picky vegetable eater so I wanted to add the ones that I like. So we're going to head to the kitchen where we're going to start prepping our chicken along with our veggies. and I have a pan that has preheated on a medium high heat and I'm going to put a little bit of EVOO at the bottom of the pan just so my chicken doesn't stick, maybe a couple tablespoons. And I've already salt and peppered my chicken that I cut up into bite sized pieces. And we're just going to put this on the pan and let it brown which will take about five minutes or so. From there we're going to take it off of the pan and start cooking up our vegetables. Okay, so my chicken has browned up nicely. Now I'm gonna start adding my chopped up vegetables. And I just cut up some onions along with green peppers, red peppers, and some garlic. So we're just gonna push this in here. And we're gonna allow these to cook for maybe, uh, just so they get a little bit soft. Maybe like five, 10 minutes or so. Stir these around. Once that garlic and onion hits, man, yum. Our vegetables have been cooking for about 10 minutes or so and they've become real 
um, translucent and more tender. From here we're going to add back in our chicken that we took off. And I'm going to turn the heat down to a low because we are going to start incorporating our eggs and we don't want our eggs to scramble. So here's where the fun part starts. I'm going to take about a half of a can, which is about six ounces, of this evaporated milk. And I use the fat free. So I'm just going to dump about half of this in. And you can use more or less depending on how long you need it to sit or how creamy you want it to get. And then from here, we're going to take an egg that we beat and we're going to slowly incorporate this in here. If we do it fast, you're going to have scrambled eggs. So just find a part and just slowly pour it in. And just keep stirring around. And this is going to help thicken up the sauce as a traditional a la carbonara would have. And that's it. We're going to add a little bit of cheese. About two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese is what I use today. Love cheese. And we're just going to add a little bit of pepper. You can use more salt after a while if you taste it. The cheese does act as kind of like a salt though, so don't put it in right away. Allow for this to kind of sit and come together and then put some salt in if you want. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of pepper. You know what, I'm going to add just a little bit more milk too. I like the, uh, the creaminess that gives me. This is almost together. We need to finish up with our linguine noodles and then plate it all together. So easy. All right, so we're cooking our linguine noodles and I happen to use this Healthy Harvest Whole Wheat Gray Noodle. I like this, this is the best that you can get as far as health is concerned and not feeling so guilty eating pasta. So go ahead and look for this on your store shelves. And while that pasta was working, our sauce has become real nice and creamy. I've tasted it for salt and pepper, it's perfect. And I'm just gonna add my linguine straight to this pot. I'm not gonna worry about draining it. Don't ever rinse your pasta because those starches on there is gonna help thicken your sauces and stuff up. So we're just gonna put this in here and then we're gonna combine all the noodles. I don't wanna burn myself so I wanna grab that. It'll fall off. Anyway, so we're just gonna combine all these noodles along with the sauce. If we need anything else, we can add it at another time. And it was this easy. We're going to go ahead and serve it up in a great big dish, family style. So let me just get these all whipped up and we'll head over there. Alright, so we're ready to plate up. I'm literally going to take my pan and put it into my serving dish. Yum, look how good that was. You see how easy it was. Presentation's great. It's great on the waistline as well, and it's awesome in flavor. And I just like to finish it off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, freshly grated, of course. It'll just melt all over top of that. And a little bit of freshly chopped parsley just to bring out the flavor, the color. And that's it. We're ready to serve. I think your family's gonna love this one. All right, so I'm back in my computer looking for new recipes again. Before I do, I need to try our chicken linguine olive carbonara that we just made. It was so easy, you seen how easy it was. Let's go ahead and try it. Make sure it tastes fantastic. It does. It's amazing the flavors that go into it. It is awesome. 